Today we are painting a beautiful, delicate dragonfly. We are going to be using pouring, my favorite glue gun technique, and also adding some gorgeous embellishments. Simple and fun. We are even going to add some resin to make it really pop. Let me show you how it's done. And don't forget that this piece is for sale now on my website with a special Christmas discount. Today's video is sponsored by Forio. If you are an artist and if you post your work on social media regularly, one of your problems, and it's definitely my biggest one, is what you make every week. Something that your audience will enjoy, but you would also enjoy yourself. So I struggle and I've been sitting and sitting and, you know, looking through my social media. And it's this third time I came across this advert. It's one of those Chinese companies that, no, I don't open, but I thought, okay, dragonfly it is. So you see, inspiration comes from the strangest source. I'm going to use a bigger canvas today. This is 16 by 12 and it's a deep edge canvas. It's, it's pretty light so I like it. Of course I want to make it in my own way. I just want a big dragonfly and some floral element. And yes, I do want to use my glue gun. I still am in love with this little one that I bought. Let's do a quick sketch and I'll probably do it directly on the canvas because it's going to be like super, super easy. I started sketching it here because I want to see where to position the plants. I can start sketching the plant. The plant will be somewhere here. I can go all the way up. I can probably do a second one just, just for fun. Why not? And we need some leaves. All right. Maybe, maybe a couple more. As I said, I am going to do it directly on the canvas, only because it's such a simple design. Uh, by the way, this is completely unintended. Because I had the golden one here, that's why I'm using. So far, good. <laughs> I really don't want to mess it up on directly on the canvas. But I want them sort of like slightly imperfect. I don't mind this little bit being perfect. If we can imagine painting with, with the glue gun, that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm slightly changing, you know, if it doesn't look perfectly as on this sketch, that's fine. Here, these are the mock-up wings, so I don't want to go over them. Okay, I made one overlapping just for some interest. That's it, so now I have to go over. See how quickly that goes. I quickly moved on to the smaller one. I made it even smaller than I started, but I have to be careful when I'm overlapping because it's going to be covered by paint anyway. Not the dragonfly. I'm thinking that I'm going to flood this with paint and then I'm going to stick the dragonfly on top. Well, that's that's what I'm thinking. As usual, I might change half the way through. <laughs> I'm sure most of you are used to it now. I sometimes stick to my original thought, you know, if I don't think of something better halfway through. I'm super excited because my baby boy is coming tomorrow from Rome. I'm very excited. It's not a baby anymore, but he's coming to make a feel. Oh, I messed it up because I was talking. I can't talk while I... And I make a line, I've noticed. So he's going to be making a short film in London, which is super exciting. I think we are probably ready for the paint. Before I get into the colors we'll be using for the piece, I want to tell you about this colorful thing. It's the Luna 4 from Forio, the sponsor of today's video. It's an advanced two-in-one deep facial cleansing and sonic brush. It's super, super soft. Ultra hygienic silicone. The lilac color is for sensitive skin. They also do other types. I could download the app and I could actually see the lady using it and I could follow the instructions. I first started using this to cleanse my skin. And I must say, my skin felt so incredibly soft. Two minute session, it actually felt squeaky clean. I applied the cleanser. And I just enjoyed. 
so it removes all the dirt, oil, makeup residue, boosts circulation and collagen. It improves the absorption also of all the active ingredients that you're using. Much superior to hand washing. When you press the button twice, you get into massage mode. It uses lower frequency pulsations, which combats the signs of aging. And I follow the steps on the application. I could never imagine that something that little could be so nice and relaxing. You just have to try to really understand. If you head over to their site, using the link in the description, you can get 21% off your purchase just for my subscribers. I think that this little device could be a perfect Christmas gift. Thank you so much, Foreo, for sponsoring this video. These are the colours. I've got some leftover paints from my golden tree. This one. So I've got some beiges from here. I do have some teal and a bit of blue from my latest fish painting, the School of Fish, but I, it's already flying to America, so I can't show you. So predominantly, what do we have? Burnt amber with white here. This is my own teal mix with phthalo green, phthalo blue, and a bit of cactus green and cobalt blue with white in here. But I'm thinking that instead of cobalt blue, because that's, that's just a nice little leftover, I want it quite light, so I want predominantly something either white or off-white in the background. So I'm going to tint these separately to make them lighter, keeping the beiges as they are, but these two definitely lighter. For all the ones who are new on my channel, just lovely and welcome everybody. I'll just quickly tell you what's inside. So we've got one part of paint, two parts of Floetrol. This one is a bit thickish because you can see a little build up. So I'm going to add some water. I want it more runny. I added more water so this is the consistency. Now you can see that's a tiny build up. It's pretty watery. That's what I want. I added some black to my blue because it was too baby bluish. I also made a very light grey but a small amount. Putting the canvas higher. I'll put all around so that my colours will glide nicely. Use my palette knife. It doesn't matter because I'm going to collect the leftover paint anyway. So if I put more it's going to be easy to blow. Now this is the moment of the longest deliberation for me every single time. I'm like where do I put the colour, which colour, where and sometimes I wish I wasn't so well fussy. I do want a little bit of this gold everywhere. Well, that's kind of a lot isn't it? I usually like it at this colourful stage as well you know. Or do we have something that's the question. Do I want any any of the dark brown? Eh, maybe, maybe. I wonder if I want the background with some hint of colour. What do you think? Let's risk it. So if I take a little bit of gold, if I mix it. I still haven't managed to mess up my new hair dryer, so I'm wiping my hands. Ready, steady, go. change of plan. The canvas is too big for my little baby. I could put more paint but I'm going to use my old friend. If you missed it, there it is. Please don't do such a silly thing. This is a crazy contraption. Okay, decisions now. Uh, not enough white. Yep. Okay, I don't mind the colours. Definitely <clears throat> too much colour here. I just had an idea, so I put white on top here. And I want to drizzle it down. I think that will give me some very interesting effects. Ah, oh yes. Oh, this is awesome. Sorry, <laughs> you can't look at this angle, but show you in a second. Look at this! Yay! 
Well, this is so pretty. Ooh. Oh, I quite like that. I am adapting my dragonfly slightly. Should have a pair of legs closer to the eyes and then there's another pair. Permanent marker. I think I will be able to see it under my mat. So I'm going to use the mat now. This is ready. My creature is going underneath. Okay, no problem. This is not the canvas. I don't know what happened. I pressed too much suddenly. Oh, I love the removing. <laughs> so nice. Couldn't decide how thick I wanted. That was the problem. Two wings ready, two more to go. I finally decided to make them not so thick. I want them quite delicate. Once I made a couple, I am more confident. It's always the beginning. It's a bit intimidating. Still haven't decided on the patterns inside and those googly eyes. Maybe I should do the legs first. <laughs> legs should be thin. They've got three pairs of legs so the other one won't be seen. Just doing those two. It is slightly bent, as you can see, it's kind of leaning towards left. It resembles a chain, perhaps. I never knew that working with glue gun would be so much fun. My first glue gun work, uh, and I fell in love with it. I absolutely fell in love. So many possibilities, and I'm going to do the same on each wing now. I love animals, I'm like, crazy animal lover but maybe insects are not my favorite you know but these when they fly they are amazing i like butterflies i think i prefer butterflies oh one of my amazing patrons i don't know if i can mention her name she and her granddaughter they are farming butterflies they have those uh, milkweed plants and they grow butterflies you know, look after the caterpillars and then wait for them to turn into butterflies, which is absolutely amazing. I, I love the pictures. She sent me lots of pictures. I absolutely loved it. I wish I could do it here, but we don't have those butterflies in London, unfortunately. Okay, so I don't want you to be completely bored. I am going to continue these two exactly the same and I'll join the body and we're done. I'm rather happy with this. And what time is it? Ah, uh, 10 past one. Okay, time to go to bed. Tomorrow we're going to peel it off. Now I can peel it off. It actually comes off super easily. I want it gold. The glue stick is gold, but not really gold. Now this is gold. Painting it separately, not on the not uh, once it's glued onto the painting, it's much easier. So what I did, I drew around the wings so that I know where the uh, dragonfly will be. I lifted it up and I painted those two white. And now I am testing my colors. I've got tons of little metallic colors that could be utilized. I tried the pearl glacier blue, but I think I want the first layer more opaque. So I'm going to mix it with a little bit of white. And I also think we need some teal color, don't we? Oh, let's try this pearl turquoise. Looks very nice. Well, that's a perfect color for dragonfly, isn't it? A little bit of white makes the color opaque and it's much easier to cover your section, whatever you're doing. I think my wing goes up to here. It's still a bit translucent because this is just the first layer. I'm using burnt amber to, with tons of white, as you can see, to create an off-white color. So yes, it is white, but it's not white. You can see it against the background. And then I'll add my blues and greens on top. 
because it's burnt amber it goes really well with the background colors I know it looks a bit dirty at the moment but I'm sure it's going to be fine I also have this color sea green it's a pouring acrylic but I want a little bit with white basically I'm mixing all those colors bits of green bits of blue what will look best definitely this green is needed here I think I need to introduce a little bit of this blue signature color for my channel <laughs> again probably with a bit of white because otherwise it doesn't cover so well that's what it looks like at the moment I can slightly adjust the wings only the section inside my chain you know those little chain sections will be seen I'm still de deliberating darker colors you know for the leaves I will need burnt amber maybe burnt sienna and some white and I'm going to paint them all inside I will start with the lightest color first I'll be actually painting here between all my glue lines I am painting every single leaf with one layer and I'll be back adding shadows and highlights. Getting much closer, I am making some of these leaves, as you can see, lighter than the bottom ones. I'm very happy with this piece. It's different, isn't it? It's more painterly, perhaps. I've got all my favorite elements here. The sort of surprising element of the pour and a little bit of painting and a glue gun. So for me, this is uh, taking inspiration from somewhere and taking, making it my own, you know. I don't, I just, I want it different. It'd be very boring. Just copy something. I'm going to be gluing down my, my little dragonfly. I am using diamond glaze. I like it because it's water-based so I can wipe it off if something goes wrong. I'll make a puddle here. If some of you are using... Uh, some very good spray adhesive could you please uh, write it to me in the comments because I've been looking for something that's really good and efficient but I haven't found any yet it's not as complex as the tree I was gluing down should be easy should be quick it takes a couple of minutes for the glue to become tacky anyway I suppose I could finish at this stage but I promised you something exciting and I think it's going to look really nice. I want to add some, some real shimmering wings. And for this, I thought, what if we use some makeup powders? I've got the whole box, so many colors. I'm going to go for some kind of a glow. This is sage glow. So see, the powder looks just white. But when you look at an angle, you can see the green. And that's what I want. So perhaps green maybe one. Periwinkle glow. Gold glow. I don't think I want any more. So I'm going to use resin. I haven't used resin for a long time. I think it will look perfect here. Please always use gloves and the respirator one dealing with resin. This one is actually not volatile, but I definitely need my gloves on. It's master cast one to one. That means one part of resin to one part of hardener. Uh, I am going to use a very small amount, so I am not really measuring 100 mils or 50, 100 mils even. I'm using a spoon, as you can see. Two spoons of resin and two spoons of hardener. I'll see, that should be enough. I'm going to mix it thoroughly for three, four minutes combining the two ingredients it's important to scrape the edges as well and yes once you mix it it looks pretty bubbly those of you who have been with me since the very beginning of my channel and even from instagram you probably recognize this strange contraption so yes that's for the ice cubes but i've noticed it's perfect for small amount of resin and then you can release the leftover bits just pushing I am going to divide the resin into three. I'm going to mix my mica powders in them and see which one I like most. Okay, 
I'll start with a very small amount. I'll start applying this little stick. So I'll fill up all the sections and then I'll show you the effect. I wasn't sure whether to do the body, yes, no, but in the end I've decided that's going to look a bit awkward, so empty. There we are. I would love to hear what you thought of this one in the comments. To be honest, I'm not sure if I prefer the wings with or without resin. Oh, just a couple of reminders before I let you go. Thank you again to this video sponsored Foreo. Don't forget to check out the link below for an exclusive discount. Perfect for Christmas. If you enjoyed this video and are looking for more, check out my Patreon where I post extended versions of my tutorials and you can find this piece for sale on my website. Use code ABCHRISTMAS25 for 25% off any order before Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. See you all next week. Bye bye.